Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. There's a popular misconception out there that water softeners add large amounts of salt or sodium to your water um, to make the water soft. Well, that just isn't true. The salt is used to make a brine solution and that brine solution is used to clean out and to regenerate the media beads inside the water softener so it can continue to um, keep softening your water. Um, but the question is, is there more sodium in your water after it goes through a water softener than before? Well, the answer is yes, but very, very little. I decided to find out exactly how much um, sodium was added to your water by, passing, by going through a water softener. And to do that, I took two water samples, B before and A after, um, from the water here from our store, before our water softener and after our water softener. And I took it to Central Ontario Analytical Labs in Orillia. They specialize in testing water to find out exactly how much sodium was added. I have to admit I was shocked with the results. As you can see here, drinking water guidelines for sodium is 200 milligrams per liter. And for people on a sodium restricted diet, it's only 20 milligrams per liter. The raw tap water tested at 8.37 milligrams per liter. While the water that had passed through our water softener tested at 8.79 milligrams per liter, an addition of only 0.42 milligrams per liter. So although there was a slight increase, it still not, did not increase the sodium level to even half the amount for a sodium restricted diet. So how does this relate in the real world? Well, you'd have to drink 2000 glasses of water that have been softened to equal the same amount of sodium or salt that's in one bagel. So as you can see, virtually nothing. If you want to eliminate 95% of the mineral content from your water, which of course includes sodium, you do that with a reverse osmosis system like this one here. That's what I have in my home for my family. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That will take you to all the other videos in this series, some great information there. Or you can go to our website at www.thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.